Ever feel like there's a whole hidden city lurking just beneath the surface of the one we know? That's where we're headed today. Yeah, we're going deep into this world of urban exploration. With a group called DCUE. DC Urban Explorers? DC Urban Explorers. And... You hit the nail on the head there. What's captivating about DCUE? They're kind of mysterious. Oh, absolutely. They've got this... It's like stumbling upon a secret society. Yeah, yeah, like a secret society. Because to even get into their world, like we've got excerpts from their online presence, right? We've got their meetup page, we've got their Flickr group, and even a peek into their Facebook group. To get a glimpse into their world, we've got excerpts from their online presence, their meetup page, Flickr group, and even a peek into their Facebook group. And from the get-go, their meetup page, mm -hmm. it raises all sorts of questions. I mean, you have to have a fully filled out profile just to even be considered. Oh, absolutely. They're 2,795 strong. Wow. But they're guarding something. What's the draw? What are they protecting? You can't help but be intrigued. Right. Are they protecting hidden locations? Hmm. Vetting for, like, responsible explorers? I mean, their meetup description states, love decay and abandoned buildings. It just screams, we're not your average sightseeing tour. Right. They're drawn to these forgotten corners of the city. Right. The places most people wouldn't dare to go. Exactly. It really gets you thinking. Yeah. What is it about these decaying structures that fascinates them? Well, their meetup description also mentions discovering hidden treasures. Okay. So it seems like it's about more than just morbid curiosity. There's a sense of adventure, of uncovering something unique and beautiful in unexpected places. And that's where their photography comes in. Because they've got this Flickr group yeah. with over 4,400 photos. Yeah. Clearly, documenting their explorations is a huge part of what they do. Look. We're not talking about quick snapshots on a cell phone here. No. These are artistic compositions. Yeah. Capturing the eerie beauty and faded grandeur of these forgotten spaces. It's like they're preserving a piece of history that would otherwise be lost to time. Yeah, for sure. And it's not just still images. They've got videos, too. Imagine. Definitely. Flickering lights, dust motes dancing in the air, maybe even the echoing sound of their footsteps in a cavernous abandoned building. It paints a vivid picture, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's not without its risks. Oh, definitely not. Their meetup page is clear about the potential dangers of exploring these places. Mm -hmm. They emphasize personal responsibility and safety. Right, yeah. Which tells us this isn't just about reckless thrill-seeking. It's about respecting the history and the fragility of these spaces. Exactly. You can't help but wonder, what are some of the stories these places could tell? What have they witnessed? And that's what makes this so compelling. They're not just exploring physical structures. They're delving into layers upon layers of history. Each decaying building, each faded photograph, is like a piece of a puzzle. Right. Offering a glimpse into the past. Right. It's yeah. like they're stepping back in time. Yeah. Uncovering a side of D.C. that most people never see. Right. But what's drawing them to these shadows, to these echoes of what once was? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Right. Why are groups like DCUE drawn to these forgotten spaces? Right. It's like asking why we seek out adventure. Right. In any form. Right. There's a thrill in stepping outside the ordinary and yeah. in encountering the unexpected. And it's not just the thrill, right? There's something deeper at play here. A desire to connect with the past, to unearth hidden stories, to see the city from a different perspective. Oh, absolutely. Right. Think about it. These abandoned buildings, yeah. they stand in stark contrast to the polished image of D.C. Right. We see the monuments, yeah. the yeah. bustling government buildings, huh. but DCUE they're drawn to the flip side of that coin. Right, yeah. The underbelly of the city. The underbelly. Our time seems to stand still. It's like they're peeling back the layers, yeah. revealing the machinery behind the grandeur. And through their photography, right. they're inviting us to do the same, to look beyond the surface, to question our assumptions about what constitutes beauty or value. It's about finding beauty in unexpected places, yeah. in the decay and the ruin. Yeah. What some might see is simply abandoned, they see as a canvas, a testament to the passage of time. This makes their choice of location even more interesting, don't you think? Oh, yeah. We're talking about Washington, D.C., <laughs> a city practically built on history. Right. I can only imagine the stories these buildings could tell. Oh, absolutely. Imagine exploring an abandoned building just a stone's throw from the White House. Right. Or discovering a hidden room in a forgotten factory that once fueled the city's growth. Wow. The history is literally embedded in the walls. It's like they're tracing the footsteps of those who came before, 
piecing together the lives that were lived, the dreams that were chased right. within those very spaces gives me chills just thinking about it. It's urban archaeology in a sense. It is. But instead of digging through layers of earth, they're navigating crumbling staircases and dusty hallways. Right. And each artifact they find, yeah. whether it's a faded photograph or a piece of machinery, right. tells a story. And these stories, they'd be lost forever if it weren't for groups like DCUE. Right. Their dedication to documenting and preserving these spaces, yeah. even if it's just through photos and videos, is pretty remarkable when you think about it. It really speaks to the enduring human need to connect with the past. Yeah. To find our place in the grand scheme of things. Right. We're fascinated by what came before us. Yeah. By the traces we leave behind. Right. And in a way... DCUE is giving a voice to those who are no longer here to tell their own stories. It makes you wonder what someone a hundred years from now would even find fascinating. Oh, wow. About our buildings and cities. Right. What will be the ruins of our time? Now, that's a thought-provoking question. Mm -hmm. It really highlights that cyclical nature of history. Right. The gleaming skyscrapers we marvel at today could very well be the mysterious, abandoned structures of the future. Right. Whispering tales of our lives to curious explorers. And DCU being this private group, it just adds another layer to this whole thing, right? Yeah. Because they're carefully choosing who gets to see these hidden corners of the city. Right. It's like they're entrusted with preserving these spaces, not in a museum or a history book, but through their shared passion. Right. And these incredible images. It's a different kind of preservation, isn't it? Yeah. It's about keeping the memory alive. Right. Even yeah. as the physical structures crumble and fade. Right. And their photos and videos. Yeah. They become artifacts themselves. Yeah. Adding to the ever-evolving story of these places. You know, after going on this deep dive into DCUE, I can't help but feel like there's so much more to uncover. Oh, yeah. Not just in D.C., but everywhere. Right. It makes you want to grab a camera, find a forgotten alleyway, yeah. and see the world through an urban explorer's eye. And isn't that the beauty of it all? This deep dive into DCUE wasn't just about a single group and their adventures. Right. It was a reminder that there are hidden stories all around us yeah. waiting to be discovered. So the next time you're walking through your own city, take a moment to look a little closer. To see the forgotten corners, the weathered facades, the whispers of the past etched into the urban landscape. Yeah. You never know what you might find. You never know. This has been The Deep Dive, reminding you that there's always more beneath the surface waiting to be explored.